Welcome back to another episode of Trippy Food. I'm glad you could make it. And another installment of Top of the Pops. Today we're going international, so in addition to some domestic beverages, we also have some international ones. So that ought to be pretty interesting. We're going to start in Europe, and we're going to go with the Zetazeni Tarragon Soda. And this is from the Republic of Georgia, which is not what the Republicans call the state of Georgia in the United States. The Republic of Georgia is a country, a separate country. So uh, we're going to try that guy. And uh, then we're going to go for the High Mountain Huckleberry from Jackson Hole Soda. And it's not to be confused with Jackson's Hole, which I believe is a porn film. Third on the list, uh, we're going to try Tropical Soda. And Tropical Soda is from Ecuador, or for Americans, Ecuador. I will give this caveat that I have tried Tropical Soda before, but I tried the banana one and it was nasty as hell. So I don't have high hopes for this, but this is the strawberry one. We're going to try that one today. Moving on and back to the United States, we are going to try the River City Blueberry Lemonade Soda. And uh, River City Blueberry Soda is made by Blue Dog Beverages, which is in Sacramento, California. And I guess you could call Sacramento a River City because they have a river running through it. So that's, uh, that's fair and we're going to hold them to their honesty. Uh, then we're going to go international again, and we're going to go to, I know I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Sidra Mundet, or Monday, maybe, apple soda, and this is from Mexico. So uh, this won't be a, a big stunner for those who live in uh, the southwestern United States. And then last on our list, we're going with Romano's Sour Apple Italian Soda. And uh, I don't know what makes an Italian soda, except if you cross it, it'll have you killed. It contains no juice, which is a little bit scary, but uh, but we'll deal with it. This company is based in Corvallis, Oregon, but actually bottled in Washington State. So we're going to try these beverages and, and uh, see what we come up with, and um, we'll get started. So we're going to go with the tarragon beverage. I don't know if it's green or it's a green bottle. It's a very beautiful bottle, though. It's a very pretty bottle. Very herbal smelling. Maybe it's shampoo. Uh, and I can see the top of the bottle is um, clear, so I think the, uh, the beverage itself is green. That's a weird taste. It's cool, it's sweet, but it's not, uh, not overly sweet. It's actually very refreshing, but that's an odd taste, a really odd taste. It's not bad. I think you have to get used to it though. Okay, so next on our hip break, we're going with the uh, Huckleberry, High Mountain Huckleberry. Oh, it smells like candy. It does have a berry taste to it. Yeah, that's interesting. Again, this one isn't overly sweet either. Well, it does have a uh, taste of berries. I don't know if you could isolate that to huckleberry, but but it's not bad. Now let's uh, let's try the tropical. Kind of afraid of this one. Mmm. That one kind of smells like candy too. I do you get a little bit of strawberry smell from that? Not much of a taste though, not much of a strawberry taste. It's there, but um, and it's not very strong. Yeah, it's okay. Not bad. Uh, and now we're trying the uh, River City Blueberry Lemonade Soda. So in addition to the blueberries, there's also lemonade. Not much of a smell. And it's a nice blue color, which really isn't found in nature too much, but... Wow! You get more of the lemon, I think, than the blueberry taste in here. The lemon hits you right off the bat. And the blueberry is very subtle. Again, none of these are really exceptionally sweet. And I don't know if they're made with sugar cane or not made with sugar cane. I, I imagine some of them are. But um, 
but it's, it's nice because it's not this mouthful of sweetness that it can be a really turn off with some sodas. Um, this one should be interesting. I believe this one is made with real cane sugar. The Mexicans are really good at that. I still wish I knew how to pronounce it. Sidrome? Man, yeah, whatever. No smell whatsoever. Not a strong taste. Now you would expect something an apple soda maybe to have uh, a taste of, you know, like a sparkling apple cider, something along those lines. And it's really muted. Again, not bad, but uh, it doesn't jump out at you. It doesn't uh, punch you in the face with that apple taste. And uh, last on our hit parade, the Romano's Italian Soda Sour Apple. Ooh, that one smells a little musty. Here we go. Cheers. Mmm, it has that green apple taste. It's not sour sour. Although that there is some sourness that comes in afterwards. Lasts on the palate. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. And again, you know, you have sweetness from these aren't diet sodas or anything, so. There's some sweetness to it. I love the colors here. You get some blue and some yellow and some red and some green. I have a great idea. Let's play chemistry set and see what we can come up with. So here's some green. I don't know what color this is. Ooh, I didn't see that coming. As close as I can figure, there should be a rainbow in my glass, but um, it actually kind of looks like the Charles River, so... Wow, that's weird. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Now, usually when I combine sodas together, I get this really horrible flavor in there, but because these are relatively muted, I, I don't get that with this, so this isn't really bad. There isn't one particular flavor that shines through. There's a limited sweetness to it. So, uh, so this actually, this mix here, this concoction, is not really bad. I wouldn't want to drink it all the time. But anyways, there you have it. I suppose if we have a favorite here, it's uh, maybe the blueberry lemonade because it seems to have the most flavor. A little low on the blueberry, uh, the apple soda, nicely muted, good flavor, and the tarragon, very interesting. So there you have it. Another episode of Top of the Pops. Go out and try these, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.